How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. So we've made really good progress on beautifying up our home. So what I wanted to do over here was to just check on my farms just to make sure that everything is running smoothly and to make a few modifications if necessary. So the first thing that I wanted to check over here is my lava farm. Let's see how that is working out. So it works pretty fast. I used already one of the buckets to get some lava to smelt all the glass from the sand. And it looks like it's already ready to be scooped up again. But I don't, I don't have my bucket on me. Oh, that's weird. I must have left it in the furnace. Also over here, I think I'm done with the bamboo farm. I think I should just try to make it into a sugarcane farm. So I think I'm going to uh, change that back. So let's just open up this farm over here. And I need an area to collect uh, the bamboo that I'm about to break. So let's change this back into a sugarcane farm because the paper is going to be a lot more useful than all of this bamboo. The reason why I say that is because I already have a really big uh, stick farm going outside for the um, with like all the trees that I have built and I'll be able to get so many sticks and you know what with the speed of this bamboo farm I just don't really think it's worth it. I'd much rather have a slower progress of sugarcane because once it comes time to trade with the librarians I'm going to need a lot of paper. Also, paper is useful for uh, making uh, rockets, I guess you could call them, uh, when you're flying around with an elytra. So, yeah, I think it's just going to be uh, better for me to have a sugarcane farm going. Alright, but I am going to make a little modification here, so check this out. If... Uh, bamboo grows a lot faster than sugarcane does. So if I put bamboo here in front of the observer block, it's just going to trigger this farm a lot more often, which will give me higher rates for sugarcane. Oh no, no. <laughs> oh, that was a big mistake. And there goes all my redstone. Ah, classic. Classic. Every time. Every single time. I need to modify this thing. I always end up washing away the important redstone. I can't believe it. Whatever, at least I didn't break the rails. Alright, let's get back over here. So I can't break that one, so I guess I'll just start breaking this these top ones up here. And get up over here. Perfect. Alright, so let's keep breaking this. You know, if I am going to make a bamboo farm, I think I would just like make one of those larger ones with like a flying machine that goes around it. But this, this one wasn't super efficient. It was a good idea. I'm glad I tried it. But you know what? I think there are just better ways to get sticks. So it's kind of annoying how they don't really line up. So you got to break like one of them each at a time. Always like go into a random spot. All right, perfect. So let's plant back the sugar canes. And where's the observer? Oh, the observer's on the other side, so that's okay. I don't need to put any bamboo on this side. Alright, perfect. So, let's close this back up. Close that. And close this over here. And close that over here. I gotta make a better way for me to get in and out of this, um, this farm. But I'll leave this like this for now. Alright, perfect. So that's okay. And let's go check out the iron farm. Let's see how that's been doing. Uh, oh, perfect. Here he comes. 55. Okay, so I know you have to be a certain... You have to be close enough to the beds for this farm to work. It won't work if you're, like, really far away. But it's good to know that if I'm working at the front of my base, this thing is still running in the background. So, awesome. And let's see over here. My tree farm. Yeah, nothing new with that. That should be okay. And let's go check on the villagers. Let's see how they're doing. This one over here. Let's see. 
Oh, yes. So he opened up his trades. And what about this one over here? He needs, uh, yeah, he needs a lot, a lot of emeralds. And then we got the two over here as well. All right, so it looks like uh, it looks like everything's coming along now. So I'm just gonna go clean up my inventory a little bit. Let me just get a bit organized over here. But I think what I'm gonna do is try to trade some of the emeralds with the villagers so I can unlock more of their uh, diamond uh, trades. So let's start by putting some stuff away. Oh, but all of my chests are like really full. <laughs> this is not going to go well. Yeah, you know what? I need a better chest system than this. Yeah. All right, so it looks like we're going to be working on a chest room instead. Uh, if you love making last minute plans and you love changing how things work, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. There's always so much to do and never enough time to do it. So let's see. I only have 12 pieces of glass left, so I guess I could just finish off what I was starting over here. Let's see, I guess I'll make it uh, eye level. And then I guess I'll dig this out. Oh, well, I'm really deep into the... Uh... Okay, never mind. I thought I'd be able to put some glass here and look outside. Oh, and hello! Look who's decided to ring my doorbell and pay me a surprise visit. If it isn't the lead generator, I'm over here. Where are you going? Does he got anything good? Oh yeah, puffer fish. And pointed dripstone. I do need that. I do need the and puffer fish. Pumpkin seeds. Okay, I need to go get my emeralds. I really need to make those trades. The puffer fish gives you um, water breathing, which is good for potions. And the dripstone, it's going to be really useful to expand my lava farm. Because dripstone is... Uh, I mean, you can farm it. It is kind of slow. How do I get in here now from the outside? Oh, yeah. I got to do this parkour. Oh, but do I even have any emeralds to trade him? Oh, no. That's the that's the real question. No, I traded all my emeralds. Okay. I got to get more emeralds right now to make those trades. So, it was five. I don't have my axe on me either. Ah, uh, this is not good. So it was five emeralds for the puffer fish. And then it was one emerald for the dripstone. So you can do a maximum of five trades for each of them. So that's five plus 25 is 30. I need 30 emeralds. Where's my axe? And you know what? It is becoming nighttime, so I will catch a little quick nap, a little quick snooze. So let's see. I needed 30 emeralds and... I need to trade 32 sticks to get one emerald. So let me use my incredible mental math over here. I'm going to need 15 stacks. Yeah, because I'm really good at math. We've already established this in a previous episode, so there's no need to doubt my credibility and any allegations that I'm using a calculator. Uh, they're false. They're they're not based on off of anything. So I don't know why people are trying to, you know, put me down. All right. So let's chop down one of these trees. See how many I can get. I do want to get the dripstone more importantly than the pupper fish. So we're gonna chop down one of these trees and see how many emeralds it's gonna give us. And it's gonna be good to know for the future roughly how much one tree gives us in terms of emeralds. So let's get all the way up here. But I'm really happy with the way that the base is turning out. I'm finally starting to get stuff together. Now that I'll be working on a new chest room, I'm going to be able to be so much more organized and be able to go out and get so much more stuff. So I'm really excited and I'm more excited that you are here watching this and going through this with me. I appreciate you. All right, so it looks like we made it to the top of the tree over here. Perfect. And let's just break our way down. Heading on down. Spinning, spinning, going down. All right. Great. Very, very good. So let's go and trade those ones. 
Uh, so I guess I could start right over here. Oh, I need to make the sticks first. So I'm going to type in planks. So that way I could just spam click this button. And then I'm going to type in sticks. And then I'm just going to spam click this button. Alright, and I guess I'll... I don't have any room to hold the emeralds, man. My inventory is full. Like, full on full. I need to get rid of more stuff. Just gonna put these away for here for now. So, let's get these trades up. And now I need to make more sticks. Alright, that's it. So it looks like one tree gives about 21 emeralds. So that's fine. I'm just going to go trade what I can with him right now. So I don't have a way out here. This needs to be a fence gate. I'm going to open this up and do that. And I need to get rid of this mangrove tree. It is ugly. <laughs> Put it politely. Pardon my French, but it is ugly. <laughs> All right, let's take those, and then I can I can get three buckets of puffer fish. That's good enough for me. All right, perfect. Now to go put this stuff away in my very organized system. Yeah, I definitely need like four times the amount of chests that I have over here. All right. Perfect. But now that we did a round of the base, I think this is a good place to end the video. If you liked it, please leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right. Have an awesome day. Toaster out.